Hey everyone, it is Danny Drew here, and we are back. Placement game number three. We've won the last two, so let's dive into it. We're going straight in. Second position, interesting board. Looks like a very interesting balance here. I think a lot of people would probably gravitate towards the 8, 5, 10 first position. Very good, I, I quite like it. 5, 9, 10 is also quite flexible as well. Very interesting 9, 10 up here. I wonder if anyone's gonna put out the sheep port. 6, 4, 11, 8, 4, 3 wood port. I just want to say thank you, everyone. We've had an awesome start to this channel over the last two weeks. Over 500 subs. I couldn't believe it. In less than two weeks, over 500 subs. Let's make it our goal, moving over to the next two weeks, to hit 1,000. I think that would be awesome. I'm going to have some specialty content to celebrate the beginning of this channel and the growth of the channel. So stay tuned. Really appreciate the support. Very interesting. The issue with going 8-3-4 here for blue, I think, is there's a very good shot that somebody potentially could take the 8-10, 8-10, 9-10. And the thing is, if you know someone is going to make a play like that, something you could do, and that you got to kind of see this in your own games, is to know, okay, if people are going to go on the coast, that means the board's going to open up. Maybe there's a way we can take advantage of that. I really like the wood and the brick. I think the wood and the brick pairs very well. There's a lot of sheep spots here, a lot of wheat spots. 6-3-4 is going to be open here, here. Blue might have some issues in terms of getting wheat. There's also something very interesting to be said about the 9, 5, 10, getting three unique resources, picking up some of the wood. And even with that, we might be able to even go off of the 8, 10 or something like 9, 10 down to the 5, 10. I kind of like that. So here's, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna trust my gut. I'm gonna pick up the best wheat, the second best sheep, second best wood. And I feel like we have a lot of outs here. I think blue's gonna get punished. Okay, very, very interesting. Ooh, eight, 10 is left open. So this is a very interesting positional concept that you're gonna have to learn, which is a lot of times with your six, nine threes, your five, nine, tens, something you can do is you can road, road, to some of these open two hex spots like this. Instead of just going straight to the port, we can drop one more extra road. Picking up that brick is really good. So I'm really liking the game that we potentially we could have here. So I'm thinking maybe if we go nine, 10 down, we could get the five, 10, drop two roads here, pick up the eight. The only issue with going nine, 10 for us is we only have three numbers, which is the nine, the 10, the five. And that's something that we're gonna to to decide, is that something we wanna do? All right, do we ever go 9-10 here? Problem is, homeboy here has a starting road, so he has a very good shot of getting this spot. If this player here picks up the wheat, we probably win this race most of the time to the 8-10. It's a really good move. A, it's going to double our, our ore by road selling here. It's going to give us more wood to pair with the brick. And then the sheep board also becomes a thing. Not as powerful, but it is definitely something that we want to be aware of. Alternatively, we could take 5-10 and point up and to the right. But I think getting the starting bricks really nice. It just, it gives us all five resources, but we are, like I said earlier, relying on three numbers. So let's, let's play it. Pointing down... Again, we're just, we're in this race. We probably have a chance to get it, but what I would rather do is just point left. Now, if Blue's feeling very ambitious, they can go 8-10 and then try to, you know, work their way up. I don't really like that play though. I think it's a little bit too slow. And what I'm thinking is we could also try to sell this ore. Yeah, don't like this from Blue. Okay, where are you gonna block? Starting road. I think you've gotta make your way towards the center. I think picking up the wheat's really good for them. 8-10 is not that good just because you've already got the coordinated eights. You don't need more wood than you have brick just because they're going to be coming in at equal amounts. And the problem is picking up the ore. You just don't have the wheat to go with it. So if I'm them, I'm dropping a road here. And for us, if we can get a road builder, an early road builder, we're looking really good. Damn, those eights are going to really hurt if they keep rolling. So we are living without sixes and eights. Very tough game, very tough strategy. Perfect. We need tens. Now blue is flooded. Essentially, their hand is half... What, two brick, three wood? I think for us, we really also have to get a city on the, the five, nine, 10. You know, one of the things you can do is when you have low production, one of the fastest ways to get it to become more competitive is to drop that early city. And we do have that ability to do that, but we're gonna have to have our nines and fives show up. Eight's going wild. Big, big, okay. So now if we can get, let's say, if we can get uh, an ore for wood trade potentially, Five. I'm sure there's a trade for a wood somewhere. He should be going for the wheat here. Uh, probably the most diplomatic block is the four. You know, hopefully they think, hey, there's nowhere I can block on, on Drew. That would be solo. So I'm just going to hit them there. Should be stealing from black. We could also, if we get an extra wood, we could also drop two roads. Yeah, that that's a big fail. Big mistake. Unfortunate red should never be giving that away. But hey, we've been in this position before, have we not? Okay, so we need to drop this road. Uh, 
really gave him really gave him too much there, I think. Now he's got all all the resources, the brick port. Okay, sheep port is live. Probably can sell an ore here for a wood. That's gonna be my goal. Probably can do that with red, I assume. We gotta get the spot. And it's okay because the thing is we're gonna need another 10 anyways to get the city. I think I have to lock down this, this settle first, just to avoid any shenanigans. This is the city from, who's this with? With black, gives him the settle, but then he potentially blue might be coming from my settle. So let's see if we can lock down. I'd rather just get the settle. I think a city potentially might make us look a little bit too dangerous. So let's see if we can do wood and ore. I'll do it with black. So let's get the city. We're, we're taking a really big risk here. Oh, oh man. Um, very big risk. Okay, so we do have the sheep port. Let's keep that in mind. If we get a 9, 10 or 9, we can port the sheep and get the settle for 4 points. Unfortunately, this is going to put us in a bad spot if blue has the road settle on us. Which he probably does. These 8s are really dominating us right now. All right, unfortunate. Yeah, so red should never have given this spot. What I could have probably done there is ported for an ore. Okay, all right, so we're 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 gonna have to figure this one out. Tough start. Red should never have done that. I, I could have given him everything in the world to help him there, and he just didn't want to didn't want to collaborate. That's fine. Um, maybe we'll we'll have to find a way to really make this happen. Blue's just a little bit too strong. All, every resource, the threes are kicking. So we're probably going to have a really hard time here. Okay, so in these situations, get your head back into the game. Don't worry, these things happen. Looking very grim, I'm not gonna lie, but what can you do, right? A nine would be great. Nine would be the road road to the ore port. Also nine would be a city if we wanna take it. Maybe we have to. Yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do? I think is blue, You they did the right call there. So let's port for two ore. Every roll puts us over. So we're gonna port for another ore here. I think we're just gonna to try to city and just keep our production running. Nine is the city again. Hindsight, we could have also taken the 810 and pointed right. That could have been good for us and probably get some brick trades. I just thought we'd win that race. Okay, tough spot guys, tough, tough spot. Should be a city here, I believe. We actually had a play earlier when, Red, when Blue was trying to get over to the 911. We could have plowed him which actually I think would have been really big for the table. We just didn't coordinate well enough. Again, nine is the city here. Oof, okay. Only play that probably makes sense here is to drop the road, and then the nine is the settle. Well, nine's also the city as well. If we can settle city, that's five points. Also, probably probably the bigger thing here is survive. <laughs> um, not gonna do that. Always remember, keep your head into the game. Keep your head into the game. The worst thing you can ever do is, is quit and give up. No matter how ugly, no matter how brutal it looks, we do have four points in our hand, almost another city. Very risky for us, like I said earlier, to take the 9-10. The thing is, red doesn't have a bad position, but they are just in a really awkward spot, I think. We might take that. Can we get another sheep? Yes, okay. So what was that, a wheat for a... So we have the, si we have the settle city for five points. Might, the game might not last that long. So let's take another city here. Actually, it's the wrong block. Yes, 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 yes. Can we bring this back? Is it possible? I'm not sure. It's going to be a toughie. I think if we can get the 942, maybe potentially make a road play. Very interesting, but we need 10s for that. That's the only problem. We do have a development card. I think if we could pull something like a mono road builder. Thing is, we got to get some utility. We'd be at six points with the subtle right now. We'd be just, we'd be flying way more than what we're doing now. Also, it's something to keep note, army is not taken right now. We could definitely make a play in army, keep the fives alive. So is there a world where we can get or let's pop, let's pop. Knight, okay. Nice block there. Thing is, I know he still has the threes and the tens, but the eights are just a monster. I think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to really, we might have to get aggressive with some knights to try to get some pacing on army. Okay, so we're gonna try to, to rally the troops here. Oof. Is he gonna start dropping roads? 
Maybe drops one down. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Get it together, boys. All right, so we have a development card in our hand. Probably gonna port. Perfect. So let's let's hit, he's got ore. So might be able to pop twice here. So let's pop once. Okay, got a knight. Let's pop again. So we have army in our hand. VPs, we need VPs. Oh, baby. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Road builder be amazing. We can road build to the 5 2, the 9 2. Stay in the game, guys. So we're going to try to put a little bit of pressure on the 8 wood. Perfect. Probably the 5 now, just because we have stopped him taking road. Amazing. Holy balls. So let's do this. Let's block the ore. We don't have him buying development cards. Perfect. Yeah, we'll do this with black. It's two development cards. We need VPs. We need everything, essentially. There's one. Perfect. Can we get another? That's fine. So let's do this. Let's drop a road here. This will give us another settle. So settle for seven. Army, city. So let's see if we can do something like this. I think we can bring this back, everyone. Really do. Also, we could try to take road. That might be a potential play for us. So I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to make a deal here to say I'm gonna move it for a wood. This is obviously not the win. I'm okay to hold here, I think, playing a knight. Who's this with black? Let's do it. So now we're two roads from winning the game. So like a nine out of ten is a win. Oh man. Ten is just winning. Ten is winning. Also, we could do something like a nine and a steal could be a win here. A five and a steal could be a win. Five is nine points. Guaranteed. Wow. Ten is winning. Damn it. We're going to try to trade for the win here. All right, seven. Has to be blue here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Seven points, we're gonna settle. Ooh, eight points, good job, man. Really nice job there. We could city here. I think a nine is also winning. If I'm not mistaken, it's very close. He could still take road, technically. That's the problem here. So with that, we're definitely gonna hit this. Nine is winning. Oof. So we can settle and pop. So let's do that. Okay, wish me luck, everyone. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. We need tens and fives. Ten is not the win. Sure is close, though. This is fine. Five is a pop. We need red to drop one road. Should give us an ore. Nope, sheep, so nine is a pull, five is a pull. Oh, what do we do here? Probably to stop the cities. Doesn't stop the roads, it's the only issue here. We have the pop. The question is, do we take the pop or do we try to hold for the win? I think both are valid plays. Very likely, let's take a look here. We think blue has a VP. I have one VP. There's still a good chance, let's do it. Let's do it for content. Nope. I don't like the 10 block, but it is what it is. Um, more or less secured army. Probably the pop was the wrong play there, but why not for the content for you guys? Oh, probably the fastest way to do this is going to be a city. Oof, oof, black might win. So we're gonna, we're gonna get black to use their cards. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, I, I think he was trying to win there.
put on black here. Break doesn't do much for us here, unfortunately. Oh my goodness. We're so close. I think we just have to hold. And we're issue is we're getting into mono territory as well. I think we just have to port for the ore, unfortunately. I mean, it's risky because we might get monoed here. All right, nine is winning, five is a pop. Oh, you got it. Oh, congratulations. Probably got a little bit too carried away. It is what it is. We, we tried our best there, it was a great game. We did much better than we probably should have, but congratulations to, to Wise there. They had a great setup. Little, I mean, obviously what they were trying to do when they were trying to get fed road was, was go for the win. Getting plowed really hurt, but overall, I think we did pretty well. I'll have to go back and see, you know, what could we have done better? Let's check the stats. Decently balanced, the fives were really good for us. Also, as far as I, I recall, I don't think there was a many other plays with the ore port. Maybe mono would have been nice, but you know, what are you going to do? So, hey everyone, Danny Drew here. And I just wanted to mention so, I was actually thinking about this. I had some reflection about this game and, and where could I have improved, right? What could I have done better? And there was definitely a few critical things. The first one was when I had the settle, when I settled on the nine, I actually had a city. And thinking about it, the city takes me to nine points, and all I have to do to win the game is settle. Versus what I did was I dropped the settle. And the issue with that is it's much harder for me to city after I use those cards. So better for me, take the city when I have it and simply just settle for the win, which is much easier to do, especially considering that the 10 and the 9 were getting slammed. I would have won the game if I did that combination. Another thing I'm thinking about is instead of going for that last pop, better to hold Obviously, I was a little hyped up trying to pull for the win there for the content, but it, it is what it is. I think if I had a little bit more reflection on what were the devs and, and my chances of pulling a VP, I probably would have just held, which made a lot more sense. And the third main thing I can think about is losing the 810 settle spot to blue. I think if I worked with the board a little bit more, stressed to them that, hey, this is an opportunity that's slipping for me, then I probably could have gotten a deal for that wood. There was wood on the board. I couldn't get a deal out of black or red. These things happen. I could have probably put my foot down on the gas a little bit harder to, to make that happen. But you live and you learn. So no such thing as a perfect game. I, I'm I'm happy that you know we got the first loss out of the way because they're going to happen. It happens for everybody. I don't care how good you are. And the best thing we can do is look back and say, how can we learn from this? And hopefully you can see there's always opportunities to to be critical about your games and to find ways to at least notice where you're going wrong and hopefully glimpses of that come back into your future games and you can recorrect in the moment. All right. Again, thank you so much for the support. Hopefully this, this was a great video. It's a little bit different. I edited it, I would say, much faster than the other ones in the sense that it's cut down quite a bit. It was a 45-minute game put into a 16, 17-minute video. Maybe I went too heavy on the editing. That's something I, I'll, I'll have to trust on everyone for some feedback there. That's okay. We'll, we'll keep improving this. If, if it's too much, I will dial it back. Please, please be patient with me, okay? All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Danny Drew, game three in the books. Have a good one. Thank you.